This is all about getting to work, being able to get to work for the American people on day one. Every inauguration is a bit different, but what they usually share in common is that there's a lot of pomp, there's a lot of celebration. But one word that's been used to describe the inauguration of the 45th president is workmanlike. He understands that the American people want him to get to work. They didn't send him to come to Washington to, to, to come in with a huge, huge party and huge fanfare and be corny. There's been some question about whether that minimal, understated approach to President Donald Trump's big day was actually on purpose. Heading into the inauguration, the publicity of the number of expected protests and problems with getting performers created a sense there was a lack of enthusiasm. But the Trump team says the approach was a directive from the man himself to make this about the people, not him. It's not about any one person. It's not about a coronation. But even if the event was meant to be less of a party, it's been estimated anywhere from 700,000 to 900,000 people were on the National Mall. That number held true. It would be less than half the size of the first inauguration of Trump's predecessor, which saw 1.8 million people in 2009.